Mr. Picard is the head of staff at Napoleon III's palace and part of his job is to obviously pay the staff, okay? Um, and he pays them in French francs, which is uh, assumingly the local currency at the time when Napoleon III has had a, his own palace. Here on the sheet that is called wage expenses, um, you will actually find very little data, uh, but that data um, and that information is enough to calculate total wage expense because we have the number of hours that um, the staff works. And uh, then based on that, we calculate the total wage expense. So how much uh, the expenses for uh, Mr. Picard, because obviously he has to pay those staff members. And how is the wage actually calculated? Well, it is calculated as follows. Um, and I've actually inputted the formula over here. So the staff gets 20 francs just to start. Okay, so when they start, they already get 20 francs Okay, before they did anything. And then for each additional hour of work, they get three francs. Okay, so this is how it works. If you work zero hours, you just show up and say, bonjour, hello, you get 20 francs. If you go immediately home, you get 20 francs. But what if you work one hour? So what if we change this into a one and press enter? Then you get 23. Why? Because you get the 20 plus three for the additional hour that you worked. What if you work two hours? Let's change this into two. You get 26 because you get the 20 for saying hello, for just showing up. Plus, you get three for each hour that you work. So that is six in total, two times three. So that is 26 in total. Now, if we just want to input here some hours, like for instance, 10, and we want to see what the total wage expense is, then this is just working fine. But there is a function that I want to teach Mr. Picard, and that function is called Goal Seek, which allows us to reason backward. Okay, what do I mean with that? Well, suppose that Mr. Picard has a budget, a, cer a certain budget to, to spend on wages. For, for instance, tomorrow is a party at the palace and he has a, a budget of uh, 75, okay? And he wants to know, okay, for 75 francs, which I assume is the local currency, how many hours of work can I buy with that, okay? So if I have a budget of 75 francs, how many hours of work can I buy with that? So now you're actually reasoning backwards, eh? because instead of changing this, you change this, and then you want to know how many hours can I get with that. For that, we're going to make use of the so-called goal seek function. You will find the goal seek function under the data tab. Okay, so you go to data, and then you go to what if analysis, and then you go to goal seek. Okay, so here we are asked, okay, which cell do you want to set? Well, the cell that I want to provide input for, namely 75, is this cell, cell B2. I want to know what would happen if I would have there as an input 75. So I want to know what would happen if I would have 75 francs as a budget. I want to know how that would affect this cell. So I want to do that by changing this cell and I click on OK. And as you can see, for 75 francs, I can get 18 hours and some change of work. So this is what Goal Seek is all about.